In this video, I'm going to show you how to access Pardot from Salesforce. So here we are in Sales Cloud, typically what people think of uh, as Salesforce. And to access Pardot, just click on the app launcher in the upper left hand corner. And you can search for Pardot right here, or you can click on View All. If you click on View All, you'll get all of the applications you have access to across the top. And in this case, you can see we've got Pardot B2B Marketing Automation showing up right here. Now, this app that says B2B Marketing Automation, this is the Lightning application. This is definitely the recommended way to access Pardot from within Salesforce. But there's also the classic uh, way of accessing Pardot. And so if you're not yet in uh, Salesforce Lightning, as an example, you're, you'll be forced to use the classic way to access. So if we scroll down to this All Items area, there is... Uh, an item called Pardot. If you click on that, it's going to open up a tab um, or another area with tabs and then bring Pardot into that area. Uh, and so what this is actually is just an iframe into the Pardot Lightning, I'm sorry, not the Lightning application, but the Pardot web application. So the other way um, you can still access Pardot is to go to pi.pardot.com. I don't know for how long Pardot will be accessible through this particular interface. Uh, but for now, you can still access it that way. And essentially, you're going to get this view just outside of the, the Salesforce interface. Uh, but these that pi.pardot.com and this classic way of accessing is the, the older way. It's not what's recommended currently. So to access the Lightning application again, you can just type in Pardot or click View All and then go to Pardot B2B Marketing Automation. And then you can access your Pardot dashboard and all the main tab areas across the top of the screen. Now, if you click on the app launcher and you're not seeing that B2B Marketing Automation Lightning app area, you're probably missing a couple permission sets. So let's go into setup and take a look at those two permission sets. And then once these permission sets are applied, you should, be, you should have access to it. If you still don't have access to it, uh, there's just an issue with the configuration um, in your account, and you're probably gonna need a little more extra help to get everything set up properly. So let's take a look at one of these users. So here's a user, if we scroll down, uh, we've got a couple different permission sets here. Now, the ones that are important to access that Lightning application are of course the Pardot permission set, and then also the Sales Cloud user permission set. Now, some orgs don't have Sales Cloud user. Sometimes it's CRM user or Service Cloud user. Uh, if that's what you have in place of Sales Cloud user, that's fine. Go ahead and use one of those. Uh, but then again, make sure that you're applying that Pardot permission set as well. Um, with those two things combined, you should have no issue accessing the Pardot Lightning application. So I hope that that helps and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.